Welcome to the What's New in Power Teacher Pro video tutorial. There are some exciting new updates that were made to Power Teacher Pro over the summer, and this tutorial is going to cover the following new features. The first is the shift to 80-20 grading, in which 80% of the grade is semester work, and 20% of the grade is the final exam. While this is not a change made to Power School, it is a change in the way we at the Glenbrooks are calculating grades. We wanted to share what this will look like and what the new terminology that we are using in Power Teacher Pro will be. This tutorial will also cover entering a preferred class name, importing scores, copying grade calculations from semester to semester or year to year, the updated Common Bank interface, and new features in the formatting toolbar of description fields. Now back to the shift to 80-20 semester grade calculations. Right now, I am in the All Reporting Terms screen, and you will notice that instead of quarters and a final exam, we now have new fields called W, X, and S. W is the semester work, so this will include all of the assignments ongoing for the entire semester and will calculate as 80% of the semester grade. X is still the final exam grade and will calculate as 20% of the semester grade, and S is the overall grade for the semester. One feature teachers have been requesting is a way to customize the names of their classes or give classes a nickname to make courses easier to differentiate. Power Teacher Pro has now added that capability in settings under class descriptions. Simply type in the custom name of your course in the custom class name field, and then click the save button. Preferred class names only show for the teacher, not in PowerSchool or to students and parents. Another request we've gotten from many teachers is the ability to format text and insert links in description fields. All the formatting toolbars now allow for rich text formatting. Probably one of the most exciting uses for this is that teachers can now link to digital resources such as digital course spaces or Google Docs in the course description section, which appears on the class detail screen for students and parents. Simply type in the text to be linked, highlight it, click on the link icon in the toolbar, Paste your link in, and then click OK. Once the description is complete, click the Save button. Also added this summer is the Copy Traditional Grade Calculations feature. This will allow you to copy gradebook setups from class to class, semester to semester, or year to year. Because we have shifted to 80-20 calculation this year, you will not be able to copy your gradebook setup from last year. However, this can be done in the years moving forward. To begin, go to Settings, then Traditional Grade Calculations. Click on the gear icon in the top right corner and select Copy Traditional Grade Calculations. Because we've switched to 80-20, you will always select the option To Another Class Select the class that you want to copy from, both the term and the class, and then select the term in the class that you want to copy to. Click Validate. A summary screen will display, and if there are any reporting terms that cannot be copied, an explanation will be provided in the Info column. Click Copy to complete the process. Power Teacher Pro previously had the ability to export scores, and now scores can be imported as well. Before performing an import, you must have an import file available containing the data. The template for entering scores can be found in the assignment by clicking on the settings icon and selecting export scores template. Because we want to put in data, we do not want to include scores. You will notice a CSV file will be downloaded. Once you have scores in the CSV file ready to import, simply click on the settings icon and select import scores. 
click Browse Files, and select the file you would like to import. Click Next, and PowerTeacher Pro will take you through the process for importing scores. Lastly, the Comment Bank received a little bit of a facelift this summer to make it more user-friendly. The pop-up window no longer covers the grades, but now appears as a sidebar. One feature teachers have found useful in the Comment Bank is the ability to star comments so that they can easily find the ones that they use most often. So that's what's new in PowerTeacher Pro. We hope you find these new features useful. If you have any questions on what's new, please feel free to contact me, Stephanie Olson, by email or by phone.